Good afternoon, Jason Smith here. We're shooting a Project North Country episode here at the Farmer's Market. I'm here with Kylie Peck, President of the Chamber. How are we doing, Kylie? Great. How Great. are you? Good. Now, you know, we, everybody thinks of the Chamber, and, and a lot of people ask the question, you know, what's the Chamber do for the local community? Can you share some of those ideas and just what the what the Chamber can do here for local events, uh, you know, uh, relationships and networking with the local businesses and whatnot? Sure, absolutely. Uh, well, the Chamber, I will say, does a lot in the community, both sure. with businesses, with the community and individuals. Um, we're here to really help everybody, which is really fantastic. Sure. We're down here today at the uh, Farm and Craft Market. We've right. got an absolutely wonderful crowd, uh, great vendors. The weather couldn't be any more yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it's very nice out here. Uh, so that's one of our main events that we do mm -hmm. every single year. It runs from May to October okay. on Wednesdays from 6.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Oh, wow, that early. Right. Yeah, we okay. start out early. We get a good crowd in the morning mm -hmm. who are coming to get their fresh vegetables and fruits and flowers for the day. Mm -hmm. um, it's really, really fantastic. Year after year, um, we get larger, more people come. Right. Um, so that's great for the local community, the businesses, individuals, mm -hmm. um, as well as the farmers and the crafters. Um, you can come down and get food for lunch, and sure. it's just something nice to look forward to for the summer. Okay, great. Quick, Kylie, you touched base on the local farmers market. You know, what other what other events, what other uh, things does the chamber offer for the local community, and is, is it's most especially local business? Uh, well, we have uh, several opportunities and benefits for being a member of our Chamber of Commerce. Um, we have affordable advertising and marketing. Mm -hmm. We can help your business um, connect with the community. If you have volunteers but not sure where to go, we okay. can help you with that. Um, one of the biggest things that I like to encourage is <clears throat> your network. If you become right. a Chamber member, you have access to the network that belongs to the Chamber. Right. Um, and with that comes reputable business owners, sure. um, and you have access to those. Um, um, as part of your membership. We do referrals, mm -hmm. so if someone calls our Chamber of Commerce, we always refer a business um, right. that is a member first. If you're right. um, someone who's not a part of our chamber, if we are really looking for someone in that category, we'll reach out and uh, try and get them on board as okay. well. Now, uh, probably one of the most well-known networking events is the Business After Hours. What, what, what's uh, Business After Hours entail? Um, so they run from five to seven, once mm -hmm. a month at a different location. Uh, you come in, you pay at the door, it's uh, drinks, food, prizes, networking. Mm -hmm. um, you can pass business cards out. I always encourage people to, you know, take yourself out of your regular group right. and go talk to right. one or two new people. That's a Don't new Don't go with your friends. Go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a great way to meet some new people and maybe make a business deal or at sure. least start the conversation. Right. Now, uh, you've been the president of the chamber since February, since correct? Since February, okay. yeah. Now, what, uh, what hopes and aspirations do you have? Well, I have a lot of them, <laughs> uh, and I have to rein them in occasionally, but sure. um, some of the things that I really look forward to um, is really become a, becoming a much stronger voice for our local business community okay. on a regional level, at the state level, um, really getting involved um, with the down and dirty stuff that is affecting our businesses sure. and really affecting business here in the North Country. Okay, great. So other than the farmer's market and uh, the, the business after hours we just discussed, you know, what other events are coming up that the Chamber offers? Uh, we have a lot of monthly events that okay. take place. Um, we have a, a leadership conference coming up called Emerge NNY, okay. and that's put on by our Emerge Professionals Group. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have our Jefferson Leadership Institute, which is a little bit higher level. Um, that's a nine month program that we okay. put folks through that mm -hmm. learns the nitty gritty um, details of Jefferson County, all of the business sectors, and mm -hmm. it really is a transformative um, experience for leaders. It's really fantastic, and I encourage anyone to take, yeah. take part in that. We have so many events. We've got our Athena dinner coming up in September, which highlights uh, someone in the community, male or female, that is empowering to women, mm -hmm. um, is a, a great mentor. Um, that's always a fun event, a feel-good event, and really is uh, speaks volumes to the people that we have in our community. Uh, we have our Business of the Year Awards that are during the winter, mm -hmm. another great event that highlights uh, the valuable businesses that we have here in the North Country. Now, Kylie, off camera, you mentioned uh, you actually were, we lived out of the area for nine years, went to school, had a career in New York City, uh, went to school in Rochester, correct? Yes. Um, you came back home here. I did. Beautiful arts on area. <laughs> now, what advice uh, would you have for anybody moving in the area or any suggestions for, for them folks? Sure. Well, I would always encourage someone when they get here to explore our area, not mm -hmm. just Watertown, but beyond. There's so many opportunities. Mm -hmm. There's 
day-long trips that you can go to the Thousand Islands or the Adirondacks. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Um, you're not limited here. Um, right. It's really wonderful. And one thing I always encourage folks that are moving mm -hmm. here and also who so have mo have like lived here all their life, but to go away and bring those experiences back to our area. Right. Um, right. That's how you grow a community and that's how you bring new ideas um, and that's how sure. you encourage other people. Right. So I would, I would definitely welcome new ideas to the area. I think um, that can help grow our even better community. That's great. Well, that wraps up today's Project North Country. Again, we're here at uh, the Greater Watertown uh, Farmer's Market. Again, I'm here with Kylie Peck. I really appreciate you, you taking the time to talk with us today. Good morning, Jason Smith here. We're shooting an episode of Project North Country here at uh, beautiful Public Square. I'm here with uh, Cody Horbez, founding executive director of Watertown First. Now, Cody, uh, you know, what can you tell me about Watertown First? What is, what, what is it actually? Watertown First is a group.